welcome back to Delectable You Recipes for Life. Today we are making chocolate chia seed pudding. It is a one blender wonder and it's awesome for when you're having a little bit of a sweet tooth that won't stop bothering you which is happening to me right now. But you really don't wanna go and have like a big chocolate sundae or anything that's gonna to totally derail you and send your blood sugar spiking through the roof. This is sweetened with a few dates and some maple syrup. And the best part of all is that if you wanna make it less sweet, you just add a few less dates or leave out the maple syrup. So it's kind of awesome. Let me show you what to do. Okay, so we've got our blender. You know I love the blender. And we're gonna first start with some dates. Now I've pitted these dates. I think two large ones are fine. I'm just gonna put two and a half because there's an extra one and I'm just gonna put it in there. So we're gonna put that in there. And then I've got myself a can of unsweetened full fat coconut milk. It is 403 milliliters, which works out. Actually, let's use our measuring cup, shall we? I'm gonna put this in here. It should be just about like just under two cups once all is said and done and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna top it off so that we have two cups of liquid with uh, some almond milk so you can use whatever kind of milk you want you can even put more coconut milk but I just feel like inviting almond milk to the party too because it's fun so it's so gonna work out to about a quarter cup of almond milk in one cup and three quarters of coconut milk. So let's put this in the blender. Boom. Mmm. Okay. So we got that in there. Now we're gonna add about a tablespoon of maple syrup. Real maple syrup, people. I'm not talking Aunt Jemima, okay? Love Aunt Jemima, but that's not what we're doing here. We're doing real maple syrup. So about a tablespoon and a half, right? Now, I love me some cinnamon, and I know, cinnamon and chocolate, what? So good, trust me. So put about a teaspoon of cinnamon. There we go. And we always need to invite sea salt to the party because that's gonna bring out the dominant flavors. We're gonna add a quarter of a teaspoon. That should do it. And let's do a teaspoon of vanilla. Hey there. There we go. Now it's chocolate pudding, so we need to have some cocoa powder. So let's do two tablespoons of unsweetened, very important cocoa powder. You do not want this to be sweetened because the sweetened stuff has sugar in it. And we've already got dates and maple syrup to do the sugar trick for us, okay? We don't need any more. Uh, and now we're gonna add some cashews just to add a little bit of thickness to everything, about a quarter cup. Honestly, if you don't want the cashews, leave them out. You really don't need them. Just adds a little bit of extra thickness and texture. So I think that's it. That's it for now. We're gonna blend this together before we add our chia seeds, just for good measure, but I need to get the lid, so hang on. And we're back in business. We've got the lid. Okay, we're all plugged in. Yes, we are. Let's turn this on. And let's just start to mix this together. We're gonna let it blend together for about one to two minutes until it's nice and smooth. Okay, let's see. So, oh, that's smooth and it already smells so good. So you, you want it to go for one or two minutes because the dates just need a little extra love. And you know, you don't really want a whole date in your mouth when you're eating pudding. Okay, so the piece de resistance, oh, look at that. The piece de resistance here is our chia seeds. So chia seeds get gelatinous, which is, you know, in regular pudding you would add eggs to make it bind together or you might add some actual gelatin but the chia seeds are going to act as that for us so that's why it's nice and vegan and gluten free so we're going to do a half a cup of black chia seeds we're going to add those in and then we're going to blend this together again for like 30 seconds and then we're done pretty much we just have to let it set after that 
go. Let's move this. Okay, chocolate chia seed pudding is done. So what's gonna happen now is you could eat it now. It would be a little bit liquidy if you ate it now. Uh, but what you wanna do is actually put it in the fridge and let it set. So you're gonna let the, the chia seeds do their thing. They're gonna bind everything together and you're going to have literally pudding that tastes amazing and that's vegan and gluten-free. Ooh, hello pudding, yeah. Isn't that awesome? So I like to um, I like to put this in the fridge to let it set in a few ways. Right now I'm just using a deep dish because I'm not making this for anybody but me and my husband um, and my friend Lindsay who's right behind the camera over there. Um, but if I were making this for somebody else, I would get those like those little mason jars, the little mini ones, and I would just put some pudding in each one of those jars and let it set in the fridge, and then you can. Um, give them as gifts or you can serve them at a dinner party and it's just really sweet and you serve this you can make some coconut whipped cream and put that on top you can slice some bananas you can um, put some almonds or peanuts or whatever you want um, chocolate chips vegan chocolate chips uh, however you normally have pudding that's what you can do so that's it that's how you make it it's gonna go in the fridge it's gonna set for like an hour or two and then I'm going to be able to satisfy the sweet tooth that is getting really annoying right now because I just want to eat this before it sets. So, enjoy your pudding. I hope that you will join me again next week. Who knows what we'll be making, but you know, it's gonna be awesome. So enjoy your pudding, enjoy your week, and I'll see you again next.